Good morning, saving lives. That is the goal of a young lady from Whitefish Bay. This is Suicide Prevention Month, and a teenager who came close to taking her own life has an important message for all of us. This viral video has gotten more than 1.7 million views. Created by Sophie Grass, an 18-year-old high school senior from Whitefish Bay, it highlights her love of an era long gone. Sophie is a history buff and even keeps daily journals. My entire life right here. She collects books on George Washington and can recite the British monarchs by heart. Charles, Charles, James, William and Mary, Anne. George, 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 William, Victoria, Edward George, Edward George, and Elizabeth. Her love of history extends to her family. This giant cutout is of her great-grandmother. This is Virginia. Um, she was a very strong woman. But this high school senior wants people to remember the outward demeanor of teens does not always tell the full story. Sophomore year, especially in math class, I was always the class clown. And um, I was just nothing but very happy and smiley. But deep down, I was just dying. And you just have to realize even if someone seems like they're so happy, they could definitely be the next one that wants to end their life. Sophie became deeply depressed after being bullied on social media and misunderstood by some teachers. Your whole life is affected by it. You can't do anything that you want to do. You can't get out of bed. It's impossible to live with. Her mental state spiraled downward. I've had depression before. The first time when I was being bullied. The second time when my mom had cancer. And the third time is when COVID hit, and that one hit me the hardest. It got so bad, she came close to ending it all. I wrote a suicide note, and um, I made sure to include everyone, my family, my friends. I went and I walked into the building, and I walked straight out, and I walked towards the lake, and I tried to jump in. That was probably my darkest moment. Sophie documented her nervous breakdown on social media. If anyone's watching this, please be nice to people. <laughs> but compassion for others saved Sophie from herself and suicidal thoughts. My friends, my family, and um, I realized they're probably going to feel worse than I do now. And I don't want anyone, even my worst enemy, to feel as bad as I do. Intense mental therapy and an extended stay in the hospital helped Sophie get better. She connected with others in treatment and says she saw a lot of talent. She shows me a rendering a friend drew of her. So she drew you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, so a lot of people are very talented. And now Sophie is on a mission to raise awareness about mental health. If you are running a marathon, it's like having a broken limb. But you're still expected to run that marathon and win. You can't do that with a broken limb. You can't do it with that disability. And mental health, it's like running with a broken limb. And she has this advice for teens feeling down. If you are in school, definitely tell the school counselor. I, th I believe that is the first person who I told. I would say that the first step to getting better is to realize that you have a problem, that you're being affected by a disease. And to be able to cure that, you need help. You need to talk to someone. Today, Sophie Grass is positive and hopeful, a blossoming young lady. She hopes to become a politician, and today she embraces life. I feel amazing right now. I was able to um, fix some stuff in my life that I didn't really like. And for those feeling sad right now, Sophie insists with treatment. You will remember what it's like to be happy again. <laughs> Sophie says warning signs a parent should look for in their child include a drastic drop in grades and a teenager that isolates themselves for several hours. Now if you or someone you know is struggling, there is a National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline available 24 hours a day. All you have to do is dial 988.